kind of funny. <laughs> Please rise. For the line. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Chris No Savage. And I'm Tessa Ball. Coming up on today's show, we have the scoop on March Spirit Week. Plus, our FCCLA had a fun time making cupcakes. All, All that, that and so, so much, much more, more because, because GTV News, News starts, starts right, right now. Welcome back, Geneva. Here are your morning announcements for February 18th and 19th. Attention everyone, next week is Career and Technical Education Week here at GHS. So that means we'll be celebrating all the classes that help you train for life in the real world. Prizes will be available based on some career related activities, so be sure to check your class team and student email for more information. And another quick reminder that Anime Club meets every Tuesday from 3 to 4 p.m. and the Art Club meets on Wednesdays at the same time. Student Council is gearing up for the virtual pep rally and all things green. As we get ready for the Luck of the Vikings from March 15th to the 21st, it will kick off with the Lucky Leprechaun Hunt. There will be an ice cream social, a shamrock showcase, and of course the virtual pep rally. We'll have more details about all of this next week. Educators Rising is creating leprechaun trap kits that will be donated to the Geneva Early Learning Program for St. Patrick's Day. Anyone is welcome to come and help, and the meeting will take place after school on Thursday in room EE 180. And speaking of leprechauns and St. Patrick's Day, FCCLA got into the festive spirit with a creative cupcake making contest. GTV's Mia Bruno tells us more about Geneva's version of Cupcake Wars. To add a little sprinkle of flavor, FCCLA had a cupcake challenge to see who decorated their cupcakes the most festive for the upcoming holiday. The club members thought this would be fun since COVID has changed the way they usually do things. Um, it was the first time we did one in our club. Normally, um, FCCLA, we go to state, and one of the competitions is um, cake decorating, cupcake decorating. So instead, they did a St. Patrick's Day themed decorating to practice the organization of a regular competition. The teams of two or three got to come in and get the materials they needed to start decorating right away. They each got two vanilla cupcakes, and they had to come up with a like St. Patrick's theme uh, for their cupcake, and then we had two categories, which was most Irish cupcake and most creative. The winners of the two themes got a ribbon and a picture with their cupcakes. For the icing on this cake, from GTV News, I'm Mia Bruno. The TikTok version of the story will be aired on GTV during our virtual spirit week in March. Next week is German week and there are tons of activities planned. The German club and honor society will be decorating the school, making valentines, and hosting a just dance and a snowman competition. Keep an eye out for updates and dates and times. And in sports news, the girls gymnastics team dominated in all their events last night against St. Charles North here at home. Congrats to all the girls who showed up and showed out on everything from the floor routine to the vault. And time now for a wrap of other sports news around the high school. GTV's Cooper Bidwell has more in this week's episode of Sports Shield. Hello Geneva and welcome back to the Sports Shield update. Let's get right into it. Congratulations to the boys swim team. Both levels beat Lake Park on Monday. The freshman medley relay broke a six-year-old freshman record. Gavin McCullough and Griffin Lauren also swam well. The girls basketball team faced off against Wheaton North Sunday afternoon. The Lady Vikes handled the pressure well from the Tigers, landing a nice pass to sophomore Cassidy Arney for a reverse layup. The girls ended up taking the win 52-33. They face off against the Batavia Bulldogs on Saturday at 2 p.m. The boys basketball team took on Glenbard North Saturday night. Senior Brian Rang gave a solid pass to junior Chris Sugar for a quick jumper. The boys won 49-44. They play again on Saturday against Batavia at 6 p.m. Boys soccer is hosting open gyms for all prospective players. The first open gym for upperclassmen will begin tonight and next Tuesday after school from 7 to 8.30 p.m. in the Mac Olson gym. Underclassmen athletes will have their second open gym next Thursday at the same time and place. Well, Thanks that's it for this week's Sports Shield. Now back to the desk. 
Thanks, Cooper, for that update. Now for a look at Thursday's weather. It's been warming up recently in the high of 26, and there'll be a low of 5. And now here's three to know before we go. Remember, tomorrow is a full school day for A students. Get your pep rally videos in anytime soon. And check emails for sport eligibility. Well, Geneva, that looks like all the news we have for you today. I'm Tessa Balk. And I'm Chris Nosevich. Have a fantastic weekend, Geneva.